today I'll talk to you about a very, very interesting story. The one which really, you know, uh, captivated me. How would you react, let's say, if you met death? You no. Know? What will your questions be to death? Uh, how would you, you no? Know, would you want to go and meet death? I think uh, the story is based on this. But before I start on the story, let me. Uh, talk about something which I am being asked very frequently. One, how do you calm yourself uh, immediately in a circumstances? Second, how do you have so much energy uh, throughout the day? Uh, while obviously I have spoken about it in the past, I will give you two small uh, secrets which uh, I do uh, like uh, continuously whenever I have to get on a stage or I have to go and speak or if I get into circumstances which is very, very strenuous or stressful. One is a very simple technique, do it anytime. Just take a deep breath and exhale from your mouth like I did. Do it 10 times, I promise you, whatever emotion that you are now going through, it will calm you down immediately. And the second, which is a much more uh, stronger uh, uh, effect that it has on me, you can try this, it's the repetition of the word Om, no? It's very simple, I just have to say, uh, Om. Now, it actually is very interesting. The, the word starts from the belly. That's the O and the O goes here and the Ma goes no, to the brain. You should be able to just bring it at this way, the way I said it. Just say it five times with your eyes closed, even if you say it slowly, and you see it just transforms your energy level and it takes you to the next level. This is something which I do. You can try it and let me know. Give me your comment as to how do you feel about it. Very simple techniques, immediately on the spot. Now, let's come to the story of meeting death. No going and speaking to death and talking about what does mean. I'll, this, this has reference to uh, uh, the Upanishads. No? Again, uh, uh, the 108 Upanishads. Upanishads technically means when you sit to near somebody and you listen and listen to knowledge and how it goes. One of the Upanishads is called Katha Upanishad. Katha is story, a story Upanishad. So even in yesteryears, thousand years back, if somebody wanted to communicate something, they would use story as a medium. Now, the story is of another young boy. We spoke about a young boy the last time when you spoke about uh, spiritualism. Now, this young boy was sitting with his father, again, a king, a very powerful king. And the father was giving away uh, in donation uh, cows, you know, uh, with the belief that if you're able to do charity and, and donate well, it, it gives you a good uh, afterlife. And, and he was giving uh, donations, but he was being stingy there. He was giving away cows uh, who were not very productive and a bit old. And this young boy uh, was very worried for his father. He thought that if this is what my father is doing, I'm not very sure that his afterlife will be good. So in trying to save his father, he jumps in and says, uh, well, Father, well, you should, uh, when you're giving away all your positions, uh, which is very close to you, uh, I, as a son, would be closest to you. And uh, why don't uh, you give me away? And to whom are you giving me away? Now, his father tried to ignore that question. And the son again said, uh, Father, whom are you giving uh, me uh, to? Uh, second time and the third time. And he says, his father got irritated and he says, I give you to death. And the boy said, thank you, father. And he gets up. And then his journey starts to meet death. A young boy for his father takes a journey to meet death. And the story goes that he, he reaches uh, death and uh, um, he is waiting for death. And it takes about three, um, uh, three days and nights. And then he is... He meets death and death asks him, why have you come? And he says, uh, uh, I've been given to death, so I've come to you. And death says, you waited three days, so I grant you three boons before we start. What are they? One of the boons that he asked was to explain to him what is afterlife, what is beyond death. Now, in the Hindu philosophy, uh, God of death is Yam. And Yam uh, says, he wants to test the boy. And he says, 
uh, forget about this question. Why don't you take um, wealth? Why don't you take no um, well, the worldly pleasures? I can give anything to you. And he tries to lure the boy away from this question about what is after life, what is beyond death. Uh, the boy was very clear. He stuck to his question, and he said, uh, "No, I want to know the answer." And after a lot of discussions and temptations, and the boy did not waver. The Lord, or the God of death, tells him. And we have heard this many times, but it's so interesting. He says, "It is just the body." which the soul leaves and moves on and there's nothing called death there's nothing called life is a continuum and the soul is the same god which is pervading everywhere you know which we spoke about in our previous discussions there's no fear there's nobody who gets killed there's nobody who kills anybody it is just the body which you drop and you move on Is it not interesting? Have you ever thought that when you are born as a child, you are so small, and whatever food you eat, that gets converted to becoming your body as you grow? And we have heard this in uh, if, when I read about uh, Christianity, they speak about from dust to dust. No, it's so interesting. You come from dust, you go back to dust. No, but is that you? It, it was so interesting going through the Katha Upanishad. I strongly recommend go through it. A very fascinating story of this young boy who, trying to save his father, goes to death, meets death, and this communication between him and death about life after life, about spiritualism, about God, about what is it, and how we should look at life, would reveal you so many fascinating facts. You may know about it, but to hear it through a story. It's something which I promise you will be an amazing experience. So, let me uh, talk about some philosophers from the West and the ones who went through this and what were their views on it. So, it it says that uh, the knowledge of the self is hereby described in a lucid style, almost unparalleled in the philosophical writings of the world. Max Muller has said that French, German, English translators. of the upanishads regarded this treatise as one of the most perfect specimen of the mystic philosophy and the poetry of ancient india now in fact uh, uh, the other philosopher from the west paul dusen wrote in his the philosophy of upanishads this identity of the brahma and the atma of god and the soul is the fundamental thought of the entire doctrine of upanishads it is briefly expressed by the great saying tatva masmi that art thou And aham Brahmasme, I am Brahma. No, so if you look at it in the past, also in the future, also people will be reading about it, and through interesting stories, start with Katha Upanishad, go through it, enjoy the encounter of death and the child.